Hello dear, you're welcome back once again to Zimio. Zimio gives you an exclusive and comprehensive information on women's health, parenting, relationship and family care. So guys, please, if you have not subscribed, kindly do that. And do not forget to turn on your notification bell so as to get notified whenever we upload. Thank you. So today we have a very interesting topic at hand. We shall be discussing vagina douching. And I tell you, you would not want to miss out for any reason. It is very interesting. And today we shall be knowing the risk factors associated with douching and their benefits. Whether their risk are more than their benefits, why we should douch and why we shouldn't douch. So today we shall be discussing those things in detail. We dive in. Vagina douching. What is vagina douching? Vagina douching is simply washing the inside of the vagina like washing the inside inside of the vagina how is, is it done getting a bottle filling it with water and then squeezing it upwards the vagina to wash whatsoever it is that they are washing me i don't cause me i don't know so and sometimes most of these women they like mixing it with either baking soda vinegar and some would want to buy an already made douching product that is contained of iodine antiseptics or different fragrance but you know one funny thing is that when you ask some of these women doubting why do you doubt they will tell you because I want to feel cleaner inside because I want to have that that vanilla fragrance because I want to have that strawberry fragrance and <laughs> I feel like what is she saying because I want to be free of STIs because I want to I, I, because I don't want unwanted pregnancies who told you that who is giving you that lecture and because also I want to wash away body fluids like semen, like a menstrual blood. Ah, oh, my dear, are you here? <laughs> so my dear, all those things are needless. When you're doing, when you're doubting because of all those things, I'm telling you, they are, they're not giving you these results you're doubting for. This is not what you get. You get the opposite of those things you're doing for. So the vagina has been made by God. Or has been curated by God in such a way that it takes care of itself. It doesn't need your help. I don't know why you're trying to put your hand in there, disrupting the pH balance of that place. So it doesn't need you to wash it. The vagina is amazing, not just because of the functions they perform. The vagina is amazing because it's the only organ that takes care of itself. It washes itself by itself. It doesn't need you. So trying to do all those things is causing harm to your health, giving yourself problem, making yourself more susceptible to infections and STIs. So my dear, please, the touching is, I, to me, I feel is a no-go area. It's not something anyone can involve in or indulge in. Personally, I don't think it's, it's okay for us. It's not healthy. It's not healthy at all. And... Experts have also said that when a woman douches on a regular basis, the woman expects or the woman is, is more prone to complicate pregnancies, like a topic pregnancy, giving birth to an immature child, high rate of miscarriage, even pelvic inflammatory diseases. The woman is made prone to all those things. So on hearing this, why would you still want to indulge in douching? Vagina douching. Most of the time you hear a woman say, because my vagina odor has changed before it used to be sweet, now it's smelling so fishy, now it's smelling... So my dear, consult your doctor. This is not what douching can solve for you. And when you doubt, when your symptoms... If you're doubting when your symptoms are signaling like gonorrhea, trichomonosis, chlamydia, <laughs> and you're doubting when your symptoms are signaling these things, I'm telling you, what you are doing is... Like, it's like just sharing those bacteria to other reproductive organs in your body. That is what you are doing. And you don't know it. You are killing yourself in a way you don't know, thinking you are doing yourself good. So it is very okay to let that place take care of itself. All you need to do is just to wash your vulva with a warm water and unscented soap if you want to make use of soap. And then parts dry after washing. That's all you need to do. I don't see a reason why somebody should be forced, forcing him or herself. Some people will tell you it's even hot water that is not. <laughs> ah, anyway, Sha. My own is that I don't think is is good. It's not good in any way. 
is not good in any way. And since experts have condemned it, let us just be careful of the things we do, of the things we put inside them. Most of the times when you ask doctors who really know what they are doing, they will tell you that when a woman doubts, that when that woman wants to take in or when that woman is trying to conceive, she finds it very difficult to take in because of what she must have done in the past or because of maybe what she's doing presently and she didn't know that that is the cause of her infertility. So, let's speak to ourselves. Let's talk to ourselves. We know the right thing to do. Let's begin to do those things. And we have alternatives to doubting. I don't think we should leave these alternatives and continue doubting. Let us follow this alternative. They are not hard to do. Neither are they expensive. This is something you can just do at the comfort of your home. Maintaining a good hygiene. That's all. Wiping from front to back. Wearing a cotton pant. Washing your pants at all times and sun drying it. This is all you need to do. Eat good food. The good food you eat will help that place smell very sweet. So it doesn't need you to go and wash it with. You now bring pineapple <laughs> and start washing it with pineapple before it starts smelling nice. No, all it's doing is causing harm to you. So maintain a good hygiene, wear a cotton pant. Be good, be happy, exercise. And you get that place active. You get it very okay. So thank you guys for being with us today. Thank you and see you some other time. But please, if you have not subscribed, kindly do that. See you next time.